Hello and welcome back to Ionic Apps for WooCommerce. Many a times you might have seen in many modern applications including Facebook and Twitter that you can refresh the content in your application just by pulling down the content and as soon as you let it go the content is refreshed. In Facebook if you are on the top of your news feed and if you pull down your news feed will be refreshed and new news feed will appear on the top. Ionic offers to implement this functionality and it provides most of the functionality that we need to create this type of interface right out of the box. So we are going to create pull down to refresh functionality in this video. So let's try that. Pull down to refresh functionality works with ion content. So you need to have ion content in your view. And the first child element of your ion content should be ion refresher. Okay. Ion Refresher takes two most important attributes. The first one is the pulling text, which is the text that is shown to the user when they are pulling down in order to refresh the application. And on refresh takes the name of a function which is executed. So it is actually the task of this function to refresh the data in the application. As of now, we do not have any function called do refresh, but we will implement this function in a moment. But before that, let me just save this application here and see how it looks like. So I have my application here and I'll try to pull down to refresh the application. And you can see that as I pull down, I see the text pull to refresh and an arrow above it. Okay. Both these components, the text and the icon that we see are customizable. We can change them. Now, as I leave, you can see that a spinner shows up which tells the user that something is happening in the background. Since we have not created any function called do refresh, this spinner will just keep showing. So let's just go to our app.js file and create this function. So I'll just create this function on my scope. And all I am going to do in this function is reinitialize the value of the user's array. So I'll just copy the user's array and paste it in here. Okay. One more thing that we need to do is that we need to tell Ionic that we are done with the refreshing process. Since we just want to initialize our user's array, after this, we need to tell Ionic explicitly that we are done. If we do not tell Ionic, it will just keep showing the spinner. And to tell Ionic that you are done, you just have to type in one line of code, which is scope.broadcast. This is the way of broadcasting an event. And this is the event that we are broadcasting. And Ionic will receive this event and will know that the refresh process is complete and now it can hide the spinner. Let's see how it works. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull down to refresh. And you can see that the spinner goes away after refreshing the items. Let me just delete some of the items in the list. And now if I pull down to refresh, you will see that the original list comes back. So this means that our refresh method is working fine and the event is also broadcasted successfully. A few customizations that you can do on Ion Refresher are that you can change the text that shows up when the user pulls down. You can also change the spinner that shows up. All you have to do is define a directive called spinner and the value of a spinner attribute can be one of the many spinners that Ionic provides. On your screen, you can see that there are a number of spinners built into Ionic that you can use right away. So let me just use the lines spinner because it is very much similar to the one used by Facebook. So let me just save this. And now if I pull down to refresh, you'll notice that I get to see a different spinner. So this is pretty much it about Ion Refresher. We can use Ion Refresher in order to refresh the content in our application. All the code logic that you want to execute in order to refresh the content of your application has to be implemented inside the do refresh method that you should implement in your controller. Once you are done, you have to broadcast an event called scroll.refreshcomplete and this will indicate that you are done with the process of refreshing your application and Ionic should hide that spinner. 